Uh, today we're going to make a, a bruschetta. I'm going to show you three ways to do a bruschetta. But first we need to prepare the, the oil. We need to give it like a really good flavor and aroma. So I'm going to use some olive oil. Like a good amount. All right. The fire is still off. Nothing is on. I'm going to put copper garlic. Uh, I just watched this. It's like fresh basil, guys. I got fresh basil today. No frozen stuff today. All right, just gonna throw it right in. And we're gonna get oregano. Now we turn the, fl the fire really, really, uh, really low. Um, I don't want to cook this stuff. I just want the oil to take uh, to take the aroma. Maybe I can add some more oil. So I'm keeping it really low and as soon I'm going to start uh, smelling the the garlic flavor, I'm going to turn it off. So we're keeping the fire medium. We're constantly just going to keep uh, moving it. Yeah, we don't want this to burn. We don't want burn burnt anything. We just want that flavor to come out. So. See, even the pop is not even hot. I don't know why I'm gonna get I'm just, I don't want to, uh, I just want the oil. So I'm just gonna take just the oil, that's fine. I wanna keep all the other stuff in. Of course, the oregano is coming in. But the basil and the garlic, we're gonna leave those guys. But I mean, don't throw this. You can put some new oil and make yourself a tomato sauce. But not right now. We're going to leave that guy alone. Keep that guy in there. When we have a nice aromatic oil. So we're going to let this guy cool. And we're going to cool, cut some tomatoes. All right. See you in a minute. All right, guys. So we're going to start with cutting the tomatoes for the first way to do bruschetta. Just a regular tomato, make sure it's really nice and hard. And uh, cut it little pieces. Then we're going to cut it some more, just to make two nice cubes. cups this was actually from uh, my sponsor Rita Incorporation some balsamic vinegar and some salt. Just a little bit. It's really a drop of 
balsamic vinegar. it up then we're gonna get a spoon of the oil that we let cool down go. I'm gonna put one tiny little piece of basil let this guy sit right here for the first way so I'm just gonna leave it right there and then for the next one still same you know nice hard tomatoes we're gonna make them uh, slice, it, slice it really really thin Top. one more on top there you go just like little sandwiches of tomato and oil olive oil in between that flavored olive oil in between so we got a little drop in there little drop in there little drop in there balsamic also Flavor right there, and then we're gonna let these guys. I'm gonna show you the last one after we toast the bread. So, right now, we're gonna let these guys sit and relax, and we're gonna go toast the bread, guys. The bread is nice and toasted, nice and warm. So, here, let's start with the first one. Let's grab, oh, actually, you know, what? before we do that, we grab nice flavored oil. Good. I'll take it. our tomatoes. Uh, running away. Not bad. Let's put it in there. Classic bruschetta right here. Got your basil in there. Now we're gonna take the second one. Yeah, same thing, take a little oil. I know you guys see me like use a lot of oil. I mean, if it was up to me, I would have a IV bags of olive oil. But yeah, it's good for you, I guess. And I like it. So second bruschetta we just put sliced. It's just sliced. If you don't want, you know, you don't want little pieces falling all over the place. There you go. Got your little basil too. Now for the fourth one, you yeah, start with the oil first. This is a. This is not like a typical thing, but this is actually like uh, some regions in Italy. That's, that's that's the way they make their their bruschetta. So put the oil. We take a smaller, uh, a smaller kind of uh, tomato. Uh, slice it, and we just rub it in. So you squeeze it in really good. Oh, that's good, like that. 
and I'm just rubbing it. Just like that. your typical uh, regional kind of brisket. You can, we give it some basil too, why not? There you go, one, and two. Well, you got your three three types of uh, three types of uh, brusquera. We got the regular one, sliced tomato one, and rubbed in kind of one. And we can even put some salt this one I don't put any salt in there there you go that's a little bit and if uh, you know somebody is complaining they're like yeah no I don't like it I want something else in it yeah, you can put some lettuce in here give it a little color you know or if you want to just put cheese you can put cheese And there you have it. Three types of bruschetta. Enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe.